Well, happy Thanksgiving to you folks at home. Um, it's probably around that time that you're seeing this video. <laughs> it might be a late Thanksgiving, sorry. Today we're gonna review the Trocar Big Nasty Bucktail Jig. So I expressed in a video earlier that I was a big fan of my initial impressions of these jigs. I have not really put a full day on the water with these yet. However, the, the weak fish were great trout are running pretty well right now. Um, there is a chance we might see some bull reds in the mix on these jigs. I'm curious to see if they're gonna be the best alternative to Spro. Piece of cake. I'm a man who loves his cake. Another on, another onshore breeze, onshore wind. It's good stuff. It was easy peasy. Well, hopefully, no more issues with our chains. Seriously, hope no more issues. Should be good. Should be good to go. Weak fish, gray trout. You just jig them like, uh, really just jig these guys like black sea bass, honestly. Give them a little more. Take your time reeling them up. They can kind of, sometimes, they're good at, uh, good at easy to tear the hook out of their mouth, too. Are they hard to catch? Usually not. When they're on, they're on. But they can get a little fussy. Ho ho! Hello, my friend. Hello. Hello, my friend. It's been a while since we've uh, met. It's good. It's King Mackerel candy right there. Cool fish, huh? Right, another species on the list there. Cute little nugget right there. Oop. I got some life down here. Right, let's switch it up. I think I might have some drum. The drum. I thought I saw some drum on my screen. That's right. spots. He's got some crazy looking spots. Nice spots, huh? Yeah, three. One, two, three spots. Alright. Want that late season doormat? I know he's down here somewhere. Mmm. Trash tacular. Definitely a shot for a late season doormat. That's what I'm really. Please don't be a redfish. This, I'm in trouble. If this is a red, I'm in trouble. I don't know. It's a pretty nice gray trout, dude. Gray 
mid 20s. This little Carolina weak fish, man. Yeah. Twenty incher. Nice. Pretty nice weak fish, man. I'll take it. All right, so they're not bad. Well, I like these bucktails. I'm not too crazy about these lower end Shimano's though. It's the only thing I gotta really add to this story right now. Eyes fall off. It's a minus one on durability right there. <laughs> yeah, the hairs are holding up pretty well. It seems like quality control is a little all over the place though. Hey man, not bad. Really not bad size. Not the biggest, but not bad. Might have a flounder here. Oh, nope, weak fish. More weakies. Good class of these guys. Look at that. Winter weak fish right there. I had a lot of rain. And there it is. There's the brown. Not good. Not what I was hoping for. Well, it's part of your comprehensive review. Right? Oh, God. I guess it's part of the equation. I don't know if we're going to land it on this reel. <laughs> we got red we got red bull i think we can put this review to rest after this fish uh, this reel is definitely getting retired all right we're at max drag now baby sahara 1000 max drag Uh, it's got to be red. Well, Hey, my friend. Yep, this is challenging as hell. Good thing this thing ain't too much bigger than this. That's all I gotta say. Good thing he ain't too much bigger. Trust me, a high 30 inch redfish ain't easy. None of this stuff. God. Turn out of the current. Broke them off. 
All right, well, there you go. That was the kind of the field test of the Trocar Bucktail series. Um, so I used the three quarter ounce size 3 hook. So the real point and interesting lesson here, that was kind of dumb for me to use a 1000 series spinner on a big redfish. Uh, I was hoping I would not hook one, but I should have been a little more prepared. Um, I probably was rubbing that leader along the structure at some point in the trip. That's why it broke when I went to grab it. So I could have landed it, uh, but a lot of, you know, silly things there. Um, but overall, for a bucktail that weighs less than one ounce, I believe the three-quarter ounce trocar might be the winner in this series. It's a little spotty how some of them are tied. They use a great hook, though, for a lightweight bucktail that I could thread on a four-inch Berkeley gulp bait without any issues. Um, so that's my full review. It was not compensated. I just thought it was kind of interesting to pick up a more universally useful bucktail and take it out for a full day of multi-species fishing. I hope I was hoping we would encounter some fluke or flounder. A couple of stragglers would have been nice and kind of interesting to spice it up. Um, but we'll fish it in the future again. I do believe for a less than one ounce bucktail, this might have the best hook on the market. Excuse me, that you can use for flounder, gray trout, and for really big redfish, which bend hooks like nobody's business so there you are all right guys that was the video i hope you enjoyed we'll talk soon